Welcome to another Flipped Classroom Tutorials. Today we are going to look at the creation of a splash screen and main menu for your game. So go ahead and open your project, rename it and get rid of your sprite. So let's right click and click on delete. Now, before we can get started we need a plan and we need to know which of the images will be our splash screen and which of the images will be our main menu. So go ahead and find images you would like to use or create your own. Personally, I'm a big fan of Google Draw as Google Draw allows you to create vector images and these can easily be downloaded as PNG files which we can then upload to Scratch. So I'm going to create my splash screen in Google Drawings. Now once in your drawing you'll want to name this. So let's name this our splash screen. And on my splash screen, I basically just want to welcome you to the game. So let's find a nice background image. Once you have a background image, you can add the information you want using text boxes. There we go. Now for the sake of this tutorial, I have named my game a dark day. And I have added credits, which say game by flipped classroom tutorial, created the year 2016. Now again, you can add any information you'd want. Now again, you can add any information you'd like. Go ahead and let's download this file. So let's select everything, right click group, and let's download it as a PNG file, so PNG. Now that we have this image, we can go back to Scratch and we can import it. So make sure that you've selected the backdrop. We will need that. And we are going to upload our image. So click on Upload a new backdrop. Find the image file and upload it as a backdrop. As you can see, some repositioning will be needed. So let's go ahead and do that now. Reposition our image. And this will now be our splash screen. So whenever we click on the green flag, we want to show this image for a couple of seconds. After which we will move on to the main menu. So in order to do that, let's go back to our Google Draw and create a new drawing. Now I want my menu to have a similar style because my game will be a black and white game so let's go and find an image that matches this style and then I would like to have one button that says start the game and a button that says end the game now seeing as these buttons will have to be clickable we are going to have sprites for the buttons and not backdrops so we can create those later go ahead and download this file as a PNG make sure that you've selected the backdrop and this time, because we are adding a new backdrop, we no longer click down here, but we are going to click on this icon, Upload Backdrop from File. Find your menu file. Okay, so as you can see, we now have two files. We have our splash screen, and we have our menu. So, we can now start coding this. Go ahead, select your first backdrop, go to Scripts, and the first line of code we will need is when the green flag is clicked show the first backdrop which is switch to backdrop splash screen we are now going to add a wait statement wait for three seconds which is the time I want my splash screen to appear and then switch to backdrop menu. What this does is it is going to start running a line of code which is basically going to show me the splash screen and after that the menu. So let's go ahead and test that. Click on the green flag. One, two, three and we see our menu. Time to add our buttons. So I want a button that says new game and I want a button that says exit and that button will bring me back to my splash screen. So let's go ahead and create those buttons and import it into Scratch. So let's go ahead and upload Sprite from file. Go ahead and find your button. Menu New Game, here it is. Open.
open and I now have my first button. Now, as you can see, this is a very large button. I want it slightly smaller, so I'm going to use this shrink tool. And I'm going to shrink this button to match my menu. So, I now have my menu structure in place. First things first, let's start programming our new game. Because as you see, I now have new game and exit on top of my splash screen, which is something I do not want. So let's go ahead and program new game. We are going to use the same code when the green flag is clicked. And we are going to add a hide statement. So hide the button, wait for three seconds, and then show the button. This is the easiest way of hiding our button until our menu appears. Now let's duplicate this code and put it into our menu for the exit button. Let's test this. Green flag, splash screen three seconds, and I have my menu. Next, I want everything to disappear as soon as I click New Game, which in this case will then jump to my third backdrop, which is, let's just for the sake of demonstrating, use the blue sky backdrop. There we go, this will be our game. Now, let's go ahead and program new game. So select your sprite, scripts, okay. For this to work, we are going to have to broadcast a message. So go ahead and put the put in when this sprite is clicked, we are going to broadcast a message and that message will be new game. New message, new game. We are going to do the same for the exit button. So when the exit button sprite is clicked, broadcast a message and this message will be exit game. Exit game. We can now program all other sprites to listen for this message. So what we are going to do is we are going to program the backdrop so that when the backdrop receives the exit game message, he is going to go back to the splash screen, which is in this case named splash screen. So let's go ahead. When I receive exit game, switch to backdrop splash screen. However, when I receive start game, new game, I am going to switch to the backdrop blue sky. Now again, this can be any backdrop you have selected. So probably this will be your first level. Another thing we will have to do now is make sure that these buttons disappear as soon as that message is sent out. So let's now add a little line of code, which is again going to use the when I receive. So when I receive exit game, I am going to hide. When I receive new game, I am going to hide. This code can be copied over, so let's go ahead and duplicate this for the exit button and duplicate this one as well. So let's have a look at our result. We now have a splash screen for three seconds. As soon as we click the green flag, a menu which appears after three seconds. When I click new game, we go straight into our game. However, three second splash screen into the menu when I click exit we go back to our splash screen. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe for more videos. And thank you for watching.